Alrighty, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so what have, what have I been up to? Probably wondering, the channel's gone <laughs> too quiet. Usually there's a million uploads per day, huh? The weather's been really nice, so. Alright, so what I did was I took the uh, tanker ship, fixed it up a little bit, and I made it so it's a tanker ship and a container ship. Um, so I'm just going to go over that here. I'm just, just doing the final sort of calibrating. Tested out a lot of different uh, things. A lot of different types of things. Uh, how to do this and that and, and whatever else. So, like, trying to tie off to the dock for stability and all these sorts of things, right? Because when you start to use the crane, uh, the ship lists around. I mean, that's that's what ships do, right? They're on the water. And in Stormworks, it's kind of a little different because the scale the scale is hard to work with. So weights can be a lot. You know, weights can be pretty large. So, anyways, what I got is um, six, five, and four. So I got these side legs that come out. And then I put in these a uh, couple of wheels on the side, and they activate these uh, thrusters on the bottom. So we can now bring the ship into into the dock. Oh, I'm gonna hit that tire. It's not quite perfect yet because I got three on the, the the rear was spinning slower than the front, so I just I just am trying to calibrate that. <laughs> so I'll spin it, I'll keep spinning it here until I can get the other ones to connect. might need one more uh, right on the very front of the ship. I'm not sure yet. If they're too close together or whatever, right? Not 100%. Okay, so that's pretty much where... And then what I would do is uh, I can turn the magnets off. Give the ship a chance to uh, right itself, right? It's going to sort of spin a little bit. And then I can turn the rate back on. There we go. So now what I can do... Uh, this is just for just loading. I was testing out. I wanted to test the crane, right? And like, how do I make a stable crane uh, for loading and unloading the containers? Because the containers weigh a lot. And when you start swinging them around, uh, the ship <laughs> the ship does stuff, right? So if I tie the ropes off to the bullards, it sucks the ship into the dock, and the ship will explode so I don't I don't the bullards don't work um, they don't work or they do there's just yeah I'm not sure anyway so we'll do that uh, and then I can I can spin it let's see we'll take we'll take the middle container off here so I can spin this way a little bit Uh, and then we'll go this way. That's probably good. Then we can release the top and then I can come down. And I can position the crane. There we go. Turn that off so it's not uh, struggling there. And then I've got all this rigging down here. I'll have to uh, fix this up just a little bit. Because um, if we double up the containers, like there isn't that much freight yet in the game to be able to do, uh, oh boy. What is this, uh, 12 containers? 
right? We could do six comfortably, and that was pretty much every container on this dock, right? So I don't imagine there would be more than that. Not in the in the base base stormers, right? If you mod it, I'm sure you could mod it for freight. So it spawns double the, the containers. That would be cool. Have to modify the uh, the source code. Don't think I'd be allowed to do that. All right. Okay, so we connect this now to the crane. Now, I mean, this is all weather weather dependent, right? It needs to be a good day for all this, all all the uh, elements combined to work in the way that we want them to, right? If it's not a good day or whatever, it's windy. Maybe all the elements don't uh, align in the way that we think they should. All right, so let me come back up to the top here, right? And then uh, for some reason, I've got the winches connected backwards too. So I need to fix that. So this comes up now and we're really stable. We're really, really stable. Uh, and I can swing around. I could swing around the outside, which I mean, obviously you wouldn't want to do um, because you might tip into the harbor. But in this case, as you can see, we can swing around the outside and we're still here. We're reasonably, uh, I'll stay here for a minute. Right, we're just testing the, and then if I go out, testing the anchors, the magnets, and the stability of the ship. So it's got ballast tanks also. Um, but I'm not sure, like I was debating on if I wanted to just write a script that would handle all that. So while, you know, the weight and we're tipping, um, then it can just sort of fill up the ballast tanks to until we stop tipping kind of deal. But it's really complicated. So yeah, so there you go. So it's, it's stable. Um, and then of course you wouldn't want to be out like that. Like that would be a really risky, risky maneuver in a harbor because you could flip, right? But if we're unloading, it is definitely something that we would want to do when we're unloading. So we can come over here now. Just like that stretch out over a truck or something that's waiting what I need to build next is a, um, a little vehicle that can go and grab the containers and then drive down here to the port and there just like that and we're reasonably stable You know, we're not tipping all over the place, spinning all over the place. Excellent. Yeah, so that's what I've been working on. I just wanted to show that there. Uh, I was finally able to get it stable and to a point where I think I can travel around and uh, pick up containers. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.